Hello, in this video we are going to cover the for in loop. So I recommend checking out the for loop video first because this will really, really help with that and checking out the data collections part of this series which covers stuff like arrays. So we're going to be you know, using arrays in here. If you, want to know inform if you want to get more information about it, feel free to check out those videos. So a for in loop is similar to a for loop but its purpose is a bit more specific. You don't have specific conditions you don't specify starting values or anything like that it's just used to essentially go through a collection of data of you know an object its properties and to do a loop so first of all let's create an object let's, let's create var i equals and we're gonna have a bunch of values so an array so one two three four two, six, six, seven eight nine and zero okay so we could loop over that using a conventional loop if we want to, or we could use a for in loop. A for in loop is really simple. Just do something like for var, no, let's say val for value equals, or no, sorry, in i. So basically for every value in i, so this will get every single value. So if we were to do print val and run it, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 67, 89, and 0. So that's it. There's nothing more to for in loops than that. They are a bit more simplified than a regular for loop because they are, you know, created so you can, you know, iterate loop over an object's properties. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.